like any strength and conditioning coach, I love numbers. And the the good thing about a watt bike is is the data that we can collect from it. And I don't use every single piece of data that the watt bike puts out. I sort of try to understand what it is I'm after in the sessions um, or what it is the athlete's requiring from the session. And then we'd focus on, on the data that's that's relevant. And I suppose the, the key thing is that the information is is reliable, it's robust, it's very, very valid, um, and that you know the information can be gleaned to be, I suppose, useful from a physiological, biomechanical perspective, and and that data helps motivate athletes, create competition between athletes, and helps us track performance or fatigue or fitness. A good example of how I might use the data. Um, is that if I had a group of players where I was trying to improve their ability to, to work really hard for 60 seconds, then, then I'd be prescribing 60 second um, intervals where they're having to write up on a board the distance they achieved in, in 60 seconds. So the watt bike spits out the distance, the rest of the group see the distance the other players are hitting in 60 seconds, and then all of a sudden, you know, we've got the gym going crazy because everyone's trying to beat the distances of their mates and and so so not only am I getting some really tough quality work in but we're getting we're getting some amazing competition and we've got some lines in the sand where a week later we can actually check that in and see how we are now or a month later we can say we're going to do that again 60 seconds efforts let's see how much distance we cover so so that's just a basic example of how the data is used the most important things for a rugby player, in my opinion, is relative peak power. And that's basically the, the maximum power we can achieve based on the body weight we are. And so we can achieve, we can investigate that through our six second tests, um, or even a 30 second test that are all programmed into Watt Bike. And so we'll use that regularly to check in with how our peak power is going based on our body size. Because we know that peak power relative to body weight is a really good has a really good relationship to ability to accelerate or sprint or the ability to jump high so those those relationships mean mean that we can actually assess that sort of output on the bike in the gym and use it for competition and to check how we're tracking through a season in a team environment obviously we're trying to improve individuals but within most teams there's there's positional needs or or groups of players that all play the same position. The good thing about Watt Bike, and, and for me the, the relative peak power that we get out of a six second test, is that there is no hiding. You know, if you're playing the same position as one of your mates in the team, or there's three or four of you playing the same position, then we can actually be comparing you to people that need to be doing the same thing. And, and so you can't hide from that data. You might all look the same when you're working really hard, you might be putting in the same effort, but the numbers don't lie. And, and so from that, we get to, um, I suppose, high levels of accountability, where, where people are looking over their shoulder, seeing what their mate's doing, or seeing what someone playing the same position is doing, and so it sets his bar. And you can't hide from that, because the data is reliable, the data is valid, and, it, and numbers don't lie. So, so we're very much able to utilise that information to, to raise the bar across positions, as well as individuals. And you know when I when I prescribe a session, um, you know the, the numbers pop up, the summary pops up. I can see the information, the players can see the information, and so that accountability piece is really really important. And the numbers hold the player accountable. In the All Blacks, we pride ourselves on never sitting still. We're always trying to, I suppose, improve, trying to move, or or, or look for an, a gap or an opportunity. And, and this data allows us to constantly evaluate where we're at, but also um, keep improving that number. You know, if we know that that my relative peak power, um, you know, is six watts per kilogram, then I know as an athlete or as an SNC coach that we want to move that to 6.1 watts per kilogram, or we want to move that to seven watts per kilogram, because we know there's never been a lock that's been able to do that. And so we're always chasing that new horizon, that new benchmark and the data from what bike allow us to do that.